Welcome back to Football Friday Night presented by McCoy Federal Credit Union. The Haggerty Huskies played their rivalry game last week, came up short against Oviedo. Tonight, though, looking to bounce back in their season finale against Flagler Palm Coast. And look at the moves on that kid. Looks like a young Joe Kepner. Hey Picking up fourth quarter, A.J. Smith, the southpaw. Lefties are good at everything. It's science. Hits Dakota Wagner, who nearly takes out the golf cart. Also scored a touchdown, 20 to nothing, Palm Coast at that point. Ensuing possession, Haggerty just trying to get some points on the board, and they do it. Just not on the right side of the scoreboard. Anthony Benzia loses the football. A.J. Smith, the guy who just threw that touchdown, scoop and score, 27 nothing, Bulldogs. And how about one more from FPC, Preston Roberts. Now in at QB, and he finds Landon Gonzalez. They actually turn the volume up on the game also. Flagler Palm Coast pitches a shutout in their season finale. 33 to zip. University will take on Haggerty next week in the opening round of the 8A playoffs. Tonight, Titans with a tune-up against Lake Howell. Chandler Powers makes it look easy. 20 to 6 Cougars at the half. First, not Cougars, Titans. First possession after the break. Lake Howell chipping away at the lead. Quick lob into the end zone. Silverhawks cut the lead to eight after the missed extra point. But the next drive for the Titans. We get out to Powers in the flat before our camera can catch up. He's already breaking two tackles and on his way back to the end zone. We have the wrong universities, not the Cougars. Titan, Titan. All right. He's all alone when he gets there. 27-12 University. Titans finish the season with a 40-19 win. They'll face the land in the first round of the playoffs next week. It was a battle of the creeks over in East Orange County tonight, or as my grandma would say, battle of the cricks. She like to say cricks. Timber Creek hosting Cypress Creek. 35-0 when we showed up. That's Malik Tyrell Crittington. Breaks a tackle, keeps his feet. One-yard touchdown run. So the Bears still looking for something to hang their hat on. This won't be it. David Siebert's going to hang his hat on a Play of the Week nominee. What a catch. Very next play with Travius Woodson, the Wolves' backup QB. Pretty good arm for a backup. He's just a sophomore, finds Ethan Varnador, and then he plays a quick game of tag. He wins. So does Timber Creek, 49-0. Well, Trinity Prep is yet to win a game this year as a part of the Citrus League, but because this is 2020 and, hey, every team gets into the FHSA playoff if they opted in, the Saints had a playoff game tonight. 0-5 Trinity Prep hosting 0-5 Cornerstone Charter Academy. First time in history I think that's ever happened. Second drive of the game for the Saints, Christopher Skeldon lays it out for Michael Tight. Takes a big hit from Chase Rabaha. Call it a Rabaha blast. Later on the drive, Rayshon Bowie, gonna bounce it outside. Nearly bounced it into my legs. Gotta have quick feet on the sidelines. Watch out, he punch it in a couple plays later. After a turnover on downs by the Ducks, Skelton swings it out to tight. Tight, bro, real tight. Saints get it down inside the 10. After they switch sides at the end of the quarter, the C's part for Skelton. Saints win 44-0, and they will continue their season next week in the playoffs against Pearson Taylor. Playoffs? How about some Sunshine State Conference football playoffs? Eight teams involved. Opening round featured Lake Highland Prep and St. Stevens out of Bradenton. No score in the first. Highlanders Carter Kim takes a handoff, gets the edge, breaks the tackle, almost gets into the score, but he's knocked out at the five. Next play, Highlanders quarterback Joey McCann. McCann keep it himself. 6-0 Lake Highland Prep. Fast forward all the way to the end of the half. It's 7-6 St. Stevens, 10 seconds before the half. McCann, McCann find an open wide receiver. Cameron Ware, Islanders would keep scoring in the second half. They win it 38-13. So now Lake Highland will get Orlando Christian Prep in the semifinals of the Sunshine State playoffs. That's because last night, the Warriors took care of Christ's Church Academy. First quarter, CCA, it's easier to say, CCA. Quarterback Jacob Denny over the middle. That's not going to work out well for him. Jeremiah Sanderson takes it away, rips off a big return before Denny finally knocks him out of bounds. A few plays later, Zion Karaoke. Don't stop believing. That's my go-to karaoke song. What's yours? Born to be wild. OCP up 8-0 after another turnover by CCA. Valet Nakoon. Nobody open. Tuck and run. Turbo. Takes off for a 22-yard touchdown. Makes it 16-0 Warriors. OCP threatening to make it a blowout, but in the second, Denny finally throws it to a white jersey. Hunter Hollis with a 32-yard touchdown catch. OCP would lead 24-7 at the half. Then in the third, first possession of the second half of the Warriors, McCoon quick out to Henry Fields. Turns it into a 55-yard touchdown. OCP rolls into the second round, 40-21.
Well, if you made it to the show a little late, it's okay. You'll be able to find all of tonight's highlights on the high school football page at WFTV.com. Wait a few minutes. We've still got some football left on this Friday night. Coming up, the top plays from the final week of the regular season. Can't do that until we bring you the second installment of tonight's Precision Battle of the Bands in another joke from Joe. That's right. Second contender in tonight's contest, the Eastridge Knights. Hey, Christian. Yeah. Why did Mozart get rid of his chickens? I don't know. They kept going bock, bock. I like that. Yeah, that's a good one.